GLP-1 drugs have become increasingly popular uh, class of medications. Their duality in treating type 2 diabetes and managing weight in overweight and obese patients has drawn attention to this relatively new class of drugs. So joining us now to talk more about this on Wellness with Wood is Dr. John Schramm, a bariatric expert at Corwell Health. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Ben. So tell us about some of these drugs. What are some of the names we'd recognize and how do they work? Sexendo, Wagovi, uh, Manjaro. Um, they're medications that actually work by affecting gut hormones. Uh, we now know that obesity is a disease. It's a disease caused by a deficiency of certain gut hormones or a, too much of certain gut hormones. And we now have medications that can affect those gut hormones, which can affect and give those patients an ability to treat the disease of obesity. Yeah, let's talk more about that change in thinking, because in the past, obesity was treated as a lifestyle choice or a failure of will. Uh, so we're looking at it differently now. How, how is that, as a doctor, how has that changed things for you? Well, you know, as a result of the success we've had with weight loss surgery, at first I think we thought weight loss surgery was successful because we could just limit how much people could eat, help them with their diet. We now know that the operations that we do actually affect gut hormones. And it was that knowledge of knowing that that was what was leading to weight loss that allowed people to say, okay, well, if we could maybe raise GLP levels, maybe we could also help. So it's given us a better understanding of the disease of obesity. I mean, I, I tell patients now, it's kind of like, you have cancer we know as a disease. It requires a treatment. It might be chemotherapy, it might be a simple operation, it might be a complex operation, or it might be a combination. And I think the tr thing is true also of obesity. It cannot be fixed with just a lifestyle change or a diet. It actually requires an aggressive treatment program. And for some patients, that may be something as simple as a medication. But for people who have significant weight to lose, they may need something more, maybe an operation or a complex operation or a combination of that. And I assume when people come to see you, that's you have to take a look at all those things with that individual person to find out. Um, right. Okay, so what's the important mes message you have for patients suffering from obesity? Well, I think for patients who need to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, a GLP is probably the most effective mm -hmm. program that there is. But for patients who need to lose 75, 100 pounds or more, a GLP is not gonna be the right medication for you. It means you're gonna have to take that medication for life. We don't know the long-term ramifications of being on that medication for life. It's effective in about 60 or 70%. There's some significant side effects. So for patients who have more than, let's say, 70 pounds to lose, really a, a surgical treatment is probably the best option. The good news is surgery can now be done as an outpatient, and most people are back to pretty normal activities within a week or two. Incredible. So the most important thing is to ask, right? And ask Seek which one's expert. the right treatment for me. Yeah. Dr. Schramm, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.